Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper lithograph um, from photocopies. I have several photocopies here. Uh, they're images that I took into Photoshop and turned into high uh, contrast images. And then I'm going to treat them and ink them up and put them onto um, either BFK Reeves or uh, Arches 88. So I'm going to prepare the ink right now. Okay, so I am using um, a Charbonnel tube ink and I've mixed a little bit of plate oil in with it uh, to try and get the ink to the right consistency. So the idea is that you're going to be laying thin, laying down thin coats of uh, ink on top of this. So you don't want it really all globbed up. You want it nice and thin. Okay, so one thing you have to be aware of with um, paper lithography is that when you start laying down the ink, the image is really going to stretch. So uh, this is the plate that I'm using. It's smaller than my image, so I'm going to frame it up the way I want it to look. And then I'm just going to rip the edges. Okay, so I have sized the paper to the plexi that I'm working on. By the way, the edges are all beveled. Um, and I found it is better to have the um, your copy slightly, uh, if anything, larger than your plate because you can always make it smaller. You can always uh, bend down the corners or whatever of the photocopy, but if it's too small, uh, there's nothing you can do about that to make it better. It just, it won't fit the plate. So, uh, and plus you don't know how this is going to stretch once you start working on it. So now I'm going to take this and my copy and I am working on a larger piece of plexiglass that I'm actually um, going to uh, ink the photocopy up on. And, uh, I mean, I could do it right on this, but I prefer to do it on a different plate and then put it on this clean plate because I don't want, um, I don't want ink all around the edges that'll print, uh, and I don't want a lot of, um, you have to put gum arabic down on this plate to adhere the photocopy to, and I find out that a lot of times it, it squeezes out at the end and then it gets on your print. So uh, I prefer to do it on a separate plate. Okay, so here's a couple of tips that I, I've learned over the years of doing this is that um, you can use a funky brush 
to put the gum arabic on but this will scratch the photocopy which means that wherever you scratch it and remove toner on your paper by the way those photocopies are laser copies um, it's going to leave a mark so if that's the look you're going for then that's fine but I don't particularly like that look so I always uh, use a really fine brush like a, a this is just a painting brush from Home Depot and uh, it's, it's a very fine brush and after okay. so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of gum arabic on my plexi and then I'm going to put a little bit of water and I'm going to paint it out about the size of my photocopy and then what I like to do is I like to take my photocopy and run it through a tray of water because I find that it just goes down easier. Again, like I said, if you get creases in this, um, they show up. So I found that um, because this is drawing, you're putting on something wet, you get a bunch of bubbles, you get all kinds of creases, and it is not the look I'm going for. So I'm going to go run it through water. And then I'm going to start from the center and just kind of brush it out. Okay, so I am going to put the gum arabic on top of the print. And brush it around. And then I'm going to wipe it up with water and a sponge. I'm going to get ready to ink it up. Uh, the last time I wiped it up, I'm making sure that there's no bubbles or anything in there, that it's all smoothed out and that I get as much gum arabic off as I can and as much water. So it's, it looks pretty dry now and I'm going to start from the center and work out and I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure. But again, this is just putting a thin layer of um, ink down. And then I'm going to take the brayer and I'm going to roll the excess ink off on a uh, telephone book. And I'm going to try and put another thin layer over the top. wipe off the excess ink. Okay, so this is what it looks like right before it gets ready to print. Now, I could just print off this plastic if I wanted to and clean this up, 
or leave it if that's what you want but I like to take this whole piece up and I'm going to put it on this piece of plexiglass and then if it's too large then I can just rip those pieces off um, and also I'll probably rip down here like this because I don't really need this in there but first I'll put the image onto the plexiglass.